Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome back to Shenanigans 3, 2, 1. I am so happy you are here. Quite a few new subscribers. In fact, we're going to jump right into the chit chat, shall we? We shall. Let's do it. So, yes, I mainly do Timu hauls on this platform. Once in a while, as you can see, I'll throw in maybe some celebrity sightings, um, some gardening, a tour of the home, but for the most part, this whole channel started with Timu. If you're not familiar with Timu, it is an online marketplace where their slogan is, you can shop like a billionaire. And as I say all the time, I do. I gotta slow my roll. I have to say that every video, I'm trying to just put it out there to the universe, slow down, slow down, slow down, as is everything in my life. So again, it's gonna be a little bit longer of an introduction. I was debating on whether or not I should crack these bad boys couple reasons. I have more that are supposed to be delivered this week, but again, as a flight attendant, I am not here maybe two to three days a week if it's a good week. And uh, I forgot what's in here. I did go through and price them, so hopefully it won't be too, too long. But again, if you are new to the channel, welcome. We hit that 2,000 subscriber mark. Now, what does that mean? means every 1,000 subscribers I have, I am doing a giveaway. You must have Venmo or Cash App. Those are how you're going to receive your prizes. You're going to have seven days to claim them, okay? I'll set a date and time, um, depending on when this posts. The sooner, the better for me. Um, if it takes me a little bit to respond, it's because I don't always have a signal when I'm 30,000 feet up in the air. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? You feel me? You know. But, again, with the introduction, there's a couple things I want to do. Um, first off, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I am so grateful this channel just kind of blew up. Not quite like uh, Smile to Hurts did, which is going to bring me into this. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance. Again, if you're not used to it, um, I have a potty mouth sometimes, and uh, I ramble and uh, yeah, that's just me. Again, 2,000 subscribers. For some odd reason, you guys seem to like me, and I love you. I love you. Go grab yourself a drink. Go grab yourself a snack. I got my drink. It's my Friday, so I got a margarita. It's weak, but um, probably shouldn't be drinking it. I'm not feeling well. I was, like, burning up in the hotel last night, but... Um, I'm just like really tired and uh, I had to get my CPAP replaced so I won't have that again until April 16th. And with that being said, my sleep apnea is very severe and I am just not, I'm not sleeping right. So I get really tired. Sorry, I hate those plastic things on the shirt. And uh, yeah, so if I'm a little out of sorts today, you're right on point. I am. I'm not 100%, but... I know a lot of you are anxiously waiting for the drawing. Good news and bad news. Good news is we are going to pull our winners on this video. Bad news is it's going to be at the end of the video. Now, a couple things. Again, you're going to have about a week, give or take, to claim your prize. Cash App or Venmo preferred, so I can send you the money. Get some products on Timu if you want. Treat yourself to a nice dinner. Um, whatever you want. Do you, boo. Do you? I don't want you to feel that you have to do Timu. I know a lot of people like watching the hauls and haven't even ordered yet. Now, here we go. Sorry. Look, I just got my lipstick on my chin. Sniffles. I don't mean to be gross. If it looks like I got a booger or a moco, it's not. My skin is peeling because I've been wiping it so much. But this is what 2000 subscribers look like. Can you see? You got the magic bowl, my magic bowl. I think I'm going to have to get a bin when I reach more subscribers. Um, I do give it a good toss and oops, I dropped one. Again, it's, I got to meet my quota. I got to drop something all the time. Just a couple random. We got Don Cohen, 7009. Fold that back up, throw it in there. Jay pulled the last winners, but he's roughing a game and doesn't want to be near me because I have cooties because I'm sick. He was sick last week, gave it to me, but now, uh, yeah, he's at work. Anyway, I'm going to get back to this, but yeah, 
Here's a couple things, though. A lot of your names, because we're friends, right? We're all friends here. We'll comment more than once. And before I went on my last four-day work trip, I started writing down some of the new comments. Um, I know that there was, I want to say, uh, Tall Bear uh, did this thing where it's a random selector. He did it on the computer. I film everything on the phone. My laptop's broken. Everything's done right here. But it, it basically took all the comments from his videos and just selected a random winner. Now, I could do it that way, but I want to do it by subscribers. So... If I pull your name, right, what I just say, Dawn Cohen, and that was a practice run. I didn't pull your name. Sorry, don't get your hopes up just yet. But let's say I pull it, and then I pull another winner, and I pull your name out again. I'm going to set that to the side. Also, if you won one of the uh, prizes in my last giveaway, we're going to move on. We're going to pull another name, just to be fair to everybody. I mean, you got a, what, one out of 2,000, I think, and 11 is what I was up when I started this video, 2011 subscribers today. So there's more than 2011 names in there, again, because some of you comment more than once. Am I making sense? Am I rambling already? That was literally my first sip. Let me get another one. Maybe I can talk better. <sighs> Watch me pass out. Um, I vape. Somebody asked me where you get the zero nicotine. Vapes, because you can get them in different um, strengths. And this is, it says a power hit. Um, strawberry, watermelon, bubblegum. I get them, uh, live in Utah. Our beer is watered down here at the bars and everything. But uh, you have to go to a smoke shop to get them and just get the zero nicotine. And I haven't had a cigarette in two years. So that's pretty good for me, considering I smoke like a pack, a pack and a half a day of Marble Lights 100s. Much better. Still not the best for you, but I'm working on it. So, yeah, I'll be puffing away on that. You could be puffing away on other stuff, too. Do you, boo, right? Do you. So, yeah. Let's see. We covered the drawing that's going to come at the end of the video. Now, when I tell you that the work goes into this channel, I wish I had more time. I wish I could post a video or two a day. I wish I could have... Long, long conversations with each and every one of you, but my, my schedule just doesn't. I'm going to tell you the hair story, by the way, because I am livid. And maybe I'll wait on that because I don't want to set the tone with that dark cloud. But um, there's quite a few other haulers that I follow, and I'm going to put their names. Hopefully I can fit them all. There's quite a few, like I said, in the description box, in the link. Um... I highly recommend you check them out. Uh, not everybody is for everybody, but uh, these are just some of my personal favorites. Um, hey Everybody, for instance, really helped me out by telling a lot of you about my channel, and hence the subscribers went up, and it really, it really just helps us out. So I am going to uh, just list a couple of names. I'm breaking out in a sweat. I think I'm breaking the fever, y'all. I'm always sick. I got partial kidney failure, so my body really doesn't fight, like, viruses and infections. Um, so we got Gigi's Craft Attic and Halls. And again, um, some people will do crafts. Some people will be doing cooking. Some people do the gardening like I do. A lot of them, however, do halls, whether it's a Dollar Tree haul or a thrift store haul or Timu. So, yeah, we got Gigi's Craft Attic and Halls. Again, I'm giving shout-outs. Go check out these pages make sure you tell them i sent you so if you go to check out anybody that i recommend to you say hey shannon from shenanigans 321 sent me over so they know you know i'm trying to pay it forward just like they did for me to get my channel kicked off we also have janet's diy life now um i gotta tell you that she actually um really mimi is another one but she's a friend of really mimi and really mimi told me about her and said hey you gotta go check out janet's diy life and i'm so glad i did i think you will too we got just jen right j-e-n-n -N, just jen menopause and madness of course most of you guys probably already have them as your favorites as well they're popular Actually, Menopause and Madness, uh, we've spoken about doing a collab together. There's quite a few people. I think there's like six people I'm going to do a collab with. But me and Ashton's Beauty, 
That's going to be in April. That should be coming up in the next week or two. Uh, we I also have, again, let me tell you, if there was a prom king and a prom queen, it would be, hey, everybody, and smile until it hurts. Eric, he is absolutely hysterical. So if you're addicted to not just Timu, but other hauls, like a lot of us will just start our mornings or end our nights watching them. I love it. It's very soothing to me. Even if I fall asleep watching them and I'm not seeing the products, I'm listening to the voices. It just, I don't know, just, it feels normal to me. But um, this smile until you hurt, until it hurts, he didn't have me just smiling. I was literally laughing out loud, cracking up. I saw his first haul three times. First time I've ever done that. This guy, when I tell you an overnight sensation, the next American Idol, yes, yes, he is just quick-witted, very energetic, very open, and, uh, you know, I mean, we're not for everybody. I'm not, maybe he's not, but he's my kind of people, just hysterical. He's a real kick in the head, if you know what I mean. And we have, um, of course, I know I've mentioned her before, my friend Courtney. Um, she's in Canada, our little gingerbread house. Um, she just kind of takes you through for the majority of her channel. Like her house is like a little cottage. It's just like got that cozy, warm grandma vibe. Like, like you can almost feel it from her videos, the, the welcomeness and the love. Um, we've got, okay, this is a new one. I actually just started watching yesterday and it's Lil, L-I-L, -L, like little, Lil Tornado. And uh, I really enjoyed her channel as well. There's Starlight, Star Bright 70. There's Elsa's Pet, E-L-S-A-S -S underscore pet. Then, of course, we got the Cat Hair is Free. We got Diamond Peta, which is P-E-T-A. We got Nona's Halls and more. That's Donna. Uh, I want to do a collab with her, too. We've spoken about it. Um, and then we've got Nona's Here. We've got favorites with Laura, of course. Simply Jessica Marie, I want to do a collab with her. We got Really Mimi, I want to do a collab with her. M-I-M-I. -I. Again, she's the one that I was telling you that's friend with Janet's DIY. Check them both out. Hillbilly Heart, one of my long friends. Long... Long friends. That didn't sound right. What am I saying? I've been friends with her for a while now. That's what I was saying. I swear I'm not drunk yet. I'm working on it. Um, we got Missy's Cooking on a Budget and her husband, I think it's Bigfoot 370 or something like that. She, I don't know. Girl, tell me what your secret is, Missy, because I don't know how you got him to get on the bandwagon, but Jay's not having it. He's all about that travel channel, which probably if Timu dies out, the travel channel will come in and hopefully you guys come with me. So I can take you all over the world with me. Um... I just met Jin to Missy cooking on a budget. And then we got hauling it with Mima. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I think she said she had six grandkids. But um, I know she's got Jordan. And uh, her name's Tammy, which is my bestie from childhood is Tammy. So, of course, you know, hauling it with Mima. And then, you know, of course, she got retail uh, therapy on a budget. And I can go on and on and on. Hopefully I don't forget and hopefully I can put some of their names linked in the description. But without further ado, I guess I should crack open this Timu, right? I don't want to spill all these names, although I really want to do it now. And I'll tell you um, towards the end of um, this, this video, uh, what the deadline is going to be to respond. I think today's the 26th. Alexa, what is today's date? It's Tuesday, March 26th. Oh. By the way, you have one new notification. When you see the yellow light ring on your device, it means you have a notification or message. Just say, read my notifications. Read my notifications. Psych. All right. Let's see. There's a couple products in here that are going to be try-ons at the end of the video. They're going to be fun, so we'll wait. I guess I should go oh, with the small bed first. Also, in this video, I was going to... um. 
Well, I, I want to show you my Easter decorations. I know a lot of you have asked it when I decorate, especially the holidays. I'll do like a Timu holiday themed haul. And um, I really want to do that. Although uh, I didn't have time to clean the house. I just got home a couple hours ago and I didn't call my cleaning lady. She's like my backup. I've only used her a couple times. I'm not bougie or anything. I just don't have a lot of time. But I wanted to show you the garden and the inside house. And it was like I was debating. Do I do the Timu haul? Probably, because that's what most of you are here for anyway. And then you guys are waiting to see if you're going to win some of those Benjamins, eh? eh? Oh, yeah. If you don't have Cash App or Venmo, that's the easiest for me. We'll figure it out. I, I do have some viewers. Shout out to my people in the Netherlands, in the UK, Australia. I love you. We will figure it out. Promise you that. First product. $8.99 and I'm making a mess. I don't care. So this is a little travel purse compartment. Got my favorite color. Purple. $8.99. So it just goes in your suitcase and of course again for the umpteenth time I'm a flight attendant. So you could use it as a makeup bag but I think it's meant for like bras and underwear in socks but for a four-day trip that's perfect one two three four pairs of underwear because you know i actually do change my underwear daily because that's kind of nasty if you don't but yeah so you got your compartments for your clean underwear and then i can zip this little inside pocket and put the dirty ones in there whatever it's got this little see-through pocket so it's one and then two, zips up on the side. Yeah, so it's saying here that it is, well, it's not saying, but it's got a picture of socks, panties, and a bra. So yeah, it's got, um, gosh, my vision. Let's see. Yep, one, two, three. Yeah, it's got quite a few compartments, and I just think it'll make, like, the suitcase that much neater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. Clear case. Oh, look at that. Look. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know this. All right. There we go. Right? You got this compartment here. I dig it. And then you lift it. And then you've got your one, two, three, four. And again, I usually work four day trips and then fold it back over. And then you've got this to fold up. Let me zip, zip, zip. Zippity doo dow, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine's heading my way. Zippity doo dow, zippity day. Mr. Bluebird's on my shoulder. But yeah, so uh, one, two, and then the four compartments, there you go, clean, bada bing, bada boom, and then the other compartment opens up dirty for your pantalones, no mas pantalones, unless you go commando, that's cool, you could do that too, yeah, one, there's a lot of compartments, hey now, hey now, wait a minute, see, it's tricky, tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. It's right on time. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. And that zips. And then you got, yeah, that, you know what? Look at that. There are so many pockets. One, big one, two, and then four, and then four, and then, all right, $8.99. I like it. At first, I was like, $8.99 to quality is a very well made. Ooh, let me show you what else we got over here. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's got a little handle. Yeah, there's a lot of pockets here. It's going to be handy dandy. It'll make my suitcase look so much neater. Little travel case. Put it in a backpack. Cruising. I love it when we cruising together. My videos are taking so damn long to upload. I think the last one, the two-hour video, took me two days. What the deuces? All right, eight pieces. This was $5.75. What is it, you asked? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you what it is. Now, I can already tell you. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. 
It looks like something you'd put in a fish tank. It's very plasticky and cheap looking. So yeah, what can I pay for this? Five seventy-five. And eh. yeah, this looks more like something you put in a fish tank. So there's eight of them. Ooh, that smells good. You know how everybody says Timu stuff stinks? Ooh, that smells really good. And it actually, ooh, almost. I like it. It's not like a chemically or stinky smell. What is that? I don't know. Almost like incense. Okay, so it's got eight pieces. Each piece, I think, has one, two, three, four, five branches. One, let's see, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So what I am doing with these, again, they are kind of plasticky and shiny and cheap looking. That's okay, because the purpose for these, they're too, they, they look fake, obviously. It looks like seaweed, right? So they're going to look too fake for my taste to put inside the house. I mean, you could get away with it, but that kind of glossy shine on it, like I said, reminds me of something you just put in the fish tank. You could do that. It's a wire cutters, put it underneath your stones. I wish I had a salt aquarium tank. I really want a dog, but I can't because I'm never home, and it wouldn't be fair to a fur baby. So I gotta wait till I retire in three years. Anyway, I got these to put outside. Now, again, I told you about my gardening and I've got some planters that I put around the wall. And um, yeah, I could put some real flowers in there, but I already spent a lot of money in that garden this year. Like way, way, I haven't gardened in three years and forgot how expensive it was. Like, I mean, I don't even wanna put it out there, but let's, Let's put it out there, shall I? Yeah, so with the soil and all the stuff I bought, the mulch, uh, plus the plants, because I transplanted a lot of them, I was like $600 in. And when you see the garden small, I don't have a farm, y'all. So I was like, eh, I'm gonna put the planters on the wall. I'm not gonna get all new flowers in there. Plus timing again, I'm going fake. I'm gonna fake it till I make it. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Are you ready for Easter? I thought I ordered Easter pillowcase covers, and um, either I did, and they're late, or I forgot. So maybe after Easter, I'll jump on Timu and order them and put them away for next year. Have you guys noticed um, after the holidays, you know how they're like, oh, Valentine's Day sale. Have you gotten stuff after Valentine's Day, and did the price drop, or did they stay the same? I've noticed a lot of changes with Timu. I got to tell you. None of my videos. I have yet to receive so much as a gift bag from Timu. Okay, been doing this for a year. I've tried to sign up for uh, the affiliate program. It says you're an affiliate. Where the hell is my sponsored haul? Not one. So I'm ready to give up. As much as I love you guys, like I said, I'll I'll do something different with this channel. It's it. You know, everybody's like, oh, this was a sponsored haul. And did this like really? What about me? What about me? Anyway, how's the lighting? Am I too close? Am I too loud? I move back like that. Somebody said I should be closer. I don't know. Um, this is just a sticker decal. And uh, sorry, I know you said you're going to jump through your basement window if I show anything else with airplanes on it. But there you go. I'm going to put that on the back of my car. Again, the flight attendant was $1.52. Oh, okay. This, I'm going to get right to it. There's a total of 32 pieces in here. Don't know how. Okay, I get it if you accidentally buy two of the same item, but 32? What in the world was I thinking? Anyway, they were 87 cents each. <laughs> That's almost $32 I spent on the same product. So I'm going to be giving these out. Like I told you before, my crew members, kids on the plane, somebody's having a rough day. I give out little trinkets. I guess I can open one. I don't want, I'll do the purple since I've already have so many black. And what is it you ask? They're just little bracelets and I've already hauled these in the other video. And I think it says love. Yeah, it says love and then it's got the little airplane on it. Sounds like it's raining. I don't know what that sound is. Maybe my uh, J turn on the sprinklers. But yeah, it says love. And it's just got like this little suede type 
it's a bracelet and then you could adjust the links right I mean it's cute so you got a fat wrist no problem thin wrist no problem 32 so you figure you work with the same crew per work week you figure for a month so that's if I have female even first officer pilot you know that's four a week 32 he's gonna be around for a while but you saw the purple they're also in pink also got them in black I believe there's a beige and a white but when this showed up and I looked at my receipt like the pink alone there were 16 of those like I'm sure I meant like three and I, I don't know if they did it or if I accidentally did it, but to spend, like, I love my people. Don't get me wrong, but I have so many trinkets for them that I give out to people on the plane or coworkers. Like I would never spend like almost $32 on this as a, a dupe at that because I had tons of them before. So probably for the, let me just spit the next year, I'm going to be set with giving out gifts to my coworkers. Um, next was a dollar ninety nine, and Fourth of July is coming. So a, a lot of the products that I ordered for St. Patty's Day came late. Uh, Valentine's Day came late. Easter came late. Hence, I'm still waiting. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do months out. So for Fourth of July, I don't really have anything for Fourth of July. I do now. Thank you, Timu. But I got some wreaths and a couple other things. You'll see them come in a couple outfits, 4th of July. I always work. Here's the thing. I'm either always working 4th of July. I don't know what it is. If it's like Zodiac, astrology stuff. I'm either working or in the hospital dying. Like for four years, every 4th of July, I was like an ICU. Crazy. But yeah, uh, these are three pieces. Cute. It's, um, it's kind of like a little rope. Oh, 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 little silver star with our flag. And again, three pieces. This one is the red, white, and blue, just entwined. Reminds me of the friendship bracelets, right? Can you see the back? I guess you tighten it like this. I'm wondering if I need to come. How do I? Oh, yeah, yeah, you just go like that to tighten. Just like a braided rope. I'm thinking I gotta bring you guys in closer. Come a little bit closer. And then that's just the red and blue. Let's make that tighter. Maybe I should bring the camera down. I am sorry. Like I said, I'm not feeling myself. Don't be mad. The drawing's coming. You can't be mad. So yeah, those are cute. And I got an outfit to go with it for 4th of July. It gets hot up in here which I'm like burning up now again. Um, $1.79, next product, three pairs, three pieces, whatever you want to call it, some 4th of July earrings. Got a little heart, you got some sandals, they're just the studs, the little posts. Got some ice cream cones, summer ice cream cones, like they're cute. And they're like wood. Cute, I really like the wood jewelry. I don't know, I just... Isn't that cute? All right. This, I was so upset. Ugh. So upset because I was sent the wrong size or maybe I ordered the wrong size, but I could not get that. Like, yeah, your girl's a double D, okay? So... <laughs> This would not close, um, and I even wrote on there wrong size, but it is the cutest thing. $21.47, and I love it, but it doesn't fit. So this is a large. I'm thinking I need an XL or 2XL. Very well-made, high-quality denim. Let me take you over here with me. Come with me. I'm going to show you if I can. Okay. So it's a dress. Let 
there's no way. So I've got to do a size up. I'm thinking two sizes up. Well, I got my oversized sweatpants on now, so it's still a little bulky, but you got the pockets. Are they fake pockets? Nope, they're real pockets. And it's real denim. You could smell the denim. I want to say it's 100% denim. Got the silver buttons all down her back, back, back. Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. You've got the frayed edges on the bottom, like that distressed jean look. And again, this is great. I I love it. it <laughs> if it fit, it'd be number one. But I will take the time to go to the post office and send this bad boy back. Or gift it down the road to somebody and just buy a new one. But yeah, how cute is this? So again, I'm short. And uh, this comes down to just below my knees. I'd probably hike it up a little bit above the knee, to be honest, if I want to be sexy with some boots, some cowgirl boots, maybe a cowgirl hat. Giddy up, cowgirl up. Yeah. So that, 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 that was disappointing. Follow me. Let's go for a walk. Making you guys dizzy yet? <sighs> they leave me. Might not be that long of a video. I'm gonna just talk real fast and get through it. All right, I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose you now. I look like Gaka, Dooky, Poo Poo. Uh, next product was a dollar forty-three. Taking you out. I don't care. I have so many of these bags. I'm, I'm like, am I a hoarder? Because I have a million of these little bags, like the makeup. Uh, not makeup, jewelry bags. I'm like, I'm just going to slice and dice and get rid of them. I don't need all that. Aren't these cute? Oh, little flip-flops, earrings. Fourth of July, like I said. Can you see? So they got the little bling around the toe strap. Got your American flag. You want to be all patriotic. Good size, not too big, not too small, just the size of a cannonball. Cute! Cute! Can I drop something? Trash? Whee! Vey. Oi! Vey. Next product, $2.24. A bracelet. Pretty bracelet. Ooh, it's leather. Ooh, it's real leather. That's the back. That's real leather. It's got some weight to it. So you got your little pearl jam. Or Temple of the Dog. Maybe some of you know that reference. Yeah, it's got some weight to it. And the clamps are pretty cool. Let's see the clamps. Hey, it's like a magnet. So, oh, I dig that. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like it. It's got like a magnet clamp and it does feel pretty secure. Come on. There we go. I I do have small wrist. But I just I you know what? I don't know. I I guess I've been getting some gold pieces lately, huh, people? You know like when I first started this, I'm like, I like silver. I don't like gold, but I've been getting some uh gold. Dang. I'll tell you what, that magnet is pretty. Oh, <gasps> no, you did not. Oh, no. Oh, oh, we are about ready. It broke. Okay, you know what? Hold up, guys, because I'm about ready to fight. Oh, fight. Finish her. Ooh, it broke. The strap broke. Uh-uh. No, you did not. Mm-mm, Timo. And guess what? I told you that magnet, I cannot get it off. What the deuces? Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to freak out a little bit because I don't like the way it feels on my wrist when it's like hanging off. And I cannot separate the magnet for the life of me. Bear with me because I am not starting this video over. Guess what? It broke. 
Well, it was a nice bracelet. It did have some nice weight to it. Guess what? You guys are going to replace that. Let's go over there with the jean dress because I want my money back. I need a drink. I have, it hurts when I swallow. And I haven't eaten since about 8 o'clock yesterday morning and it's 5.15 now. PM. I'm starving. I don't want to cook. I don't have anything to frost it. Next product is $7.38. I did try these on. And they fit good. And they are cute. I need to bring you back over here. Sorry, guys, if I'm getting you dizzy. But they're uh, cargo pants. The elastic band. You know how us grandmas do now. Got the little tie in the front. I'm not mad if it's elastic band. Because guess what? These shirts... Cover it anyway. I am lounging in my comfy clothes. Nice stretchable. What size are these? These are large. And they've got like the bottoms are kind of like, uh, again, I'm 5'1". I'm pretty short. So these do come all the way down to the ankles. But what I would probably do is I'd probably roll them up a little bit, to be honest, and wear them as like... Um, Almost like a capri. Got some pretty good deep pockets in the front. And it's got the cargo pockets right there. And I did a uh, army green. So I like it. Just a different color. Different style. You know, it's so funny. I have so many clothes and I always wear the same sweatpants and stuff. Simple woman. Now, where am I at for time? I'm only 37 minutes in. All right, let's go. I want to save this. Hold on. Some of these should be pretty easy. $4.04 for the next product. Again, I'm really not caring about these bags today. And it is just the little bunny. Little area rug. They're kind of cheap. Cheap made, but I only put them out. Especially with St. Patrick's Day, rolling into my birthday, rolling into Easter just next week. It's not going to be up that late. But I'm going to bring you around again. See how the bunny's sticking through the fence in the hall? Check this out. Right? Got the rug, and then I got the wreath. Hmm. Cute. Cute. I like it. All right. Sorry if I'm getting you guys dizzy. I know. You don't have to tell me about it in the comments. Just get your money. Next is for oh this was nine cents so this had to be one of the get a hundred get a discount whatever it's a hanging planner so i was thinking i could put a birdhouse on it a feeder or my lanterns or some lights um outside decor it was nine cents and it's 47.2 inches or 120 centimeters um had to be discounted how i don't know but I'll put those out there, and I'll show you the garden. I'll get this set up. I'll get the stakes in. Obviously, it's going to go like this. Twisty, twist, twist, twist. Come on. Twist. Let's twist again like we did last summer. Let's twist again. Like we did last year. Do you remember when things were really... <laughs> so I don't want to take this little tie off yet. I'm assuming, obviously, it's going to go like that. Dopey dope. And, uh, yeah, actually, it's kind of short, but that's all right. It means I don't have to ask Jay to reach up and get it for me. Honey, with your six foot two... Abraham Lincoln legs. He's all legs. 
He's got legs. He knows how to use them. Not really. But yeah. So again, I'll put like maybe my hummingbird feeders or something. That's going out in the garden. Why not? Okay, that's fun later. That's fun later. Yeah, this is not going to be a long haul at all. Next, I got a size large. It was $6.83. Will it fit? I don't know. Perfect for our cruises when we're in the cabins. A little pajama jam set. It's got the little frilly frills on the bottom. You can see it's got these little, like, decor quilted elastic band. That's going to fit my fat butt. It said large. Yeah, large. And it's 100% polyester. Not real spongy. Not, like, silky. Oh, can you see that? Yeah. Well, I already told you. It says large and polyester. Do I really need to show you? Um, spaghetti strap. Spaghetti arms. Spaghetti arms. Um, simple, but with my big belly, I don't know if that's going to cover it. Nothing he hasn't seen. Deal with it. White. Probably not the best color selection for me. Uh, you can imagine if you have been with me and see how many times I drop everything on the floor when I'm eating, what food does to me or drinks. Especially if I'm wearing white. Oh, let me taste that. All right. Strawberry plant hanger for $3.79. I do have a couple of strawberry plants in the garden. But I wanted to try these planters. You guys have seen those like topsy-turvies. I've never used them. So I know um, on the Timu where this thing is, I guess you're supposed to, they're, they're supposed to like hang. So even like on that little planter thing I got, I guess you just put the plants in here and they come out of these little slants. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I guess I, I, I could probably take it to the nursery and say, hey, I need some strawberry plants, but I mean, do I need to get a certain kind? Do I just stuff the bag with soil and then just throw the plants in? I don't know. You guys, a lot of you garden, a lot of you do crafts, but for those of you that garden, let me know if you've ever used this and does it work? I guess I'll see, but how, how do I set it up? That is the question. This is a dupe item. This was $1.99. I really liked them. And the first ones I got, they broke. Like, as I opened them. And I did glue it. But I guess I liked it so much that I got a second pair. However, I thought the second pair was green and not blue. But they've just got that antique-ish vibe for me. They've got the hook in the back. And they're just earrings. I thought they were elegant and simple. Um, dress it up with denim for me, a pretty dress, whatever. I like, so I got them again. This, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, next product was 89 cents. And I wish I had a water bottle, but I don't, because I told you I'm getting down with that margarita. It's my Friday. Don't judge me. It might be your Tuesday. It's my Friday. So, um, We've got a faucet in the front of the house. We got one in the back, but he sleeps during the day. And if I turn the faucet on, it's like, ee, ee, ee. he doesn't like that. So, um, water bottles like your Evian or spring water, you, you know, you're drinking water. You twist this, dare I? Ah, anyway, you put this over the water bottle and if let's just say you're doing an inside plant and you don't want to put like ice cubes um, in the orchids or uh, pour it in a cup and add the water there, you want to kind of sprinkle it over the leaves. So it's kind of like a um, watering can for the garden. So if you screw this on a water bottle, and yeah, of course, you could do the drip right into the pot, or you can do maybe I, I'll put this to the side because maybe I will do a little demo. Maybe. 
I mean, I think I got time. But yeah, there's uh, three of them, right? And there's your, uh, you can see the holes in it, almost like a strainer. Twist it on. I'm curious to see if it works. And then just snap it in. Hmm. I thought it was a good idea, especially for house plants. <laughs> and I do, I had a couple other uh, friends of mine that are on my channel, subscribed it, said they killed their houseplants. Me too. And Jay, you know what? He brings me flowers all the time. And as much as I'd love to say, oh, he's such a hopeless romantic. He's not hopeless, but he is romantic. Um, he likes plants and flowers. And I think a lot of the time he'll bring them home and say they're for me, but he enjoys them too because he'll be like, did you water the plant? When's the last time you gave this orchid an ice cube? Next product was $6.99, but there's 500 pieces. And these are five decorative stone bags. To me, they look like jelly beans. And I want to put these out in the garden because when you see, probably in the next video, um, I want to kind of do it in the light and day if I can, or maybe two separate videos. Um, the LED lights, some of the Timu products I got are amazing. But these are supposed to glow in the dark. Okay, so there is 500 pieces, so there's five bags, which would mean, I'm assuming each bag holds 100 of these luminous type glass stones. Again, they look like jelly beans to me. Do I really want to take it out? No, I don't, but am I? Yeah, I will. I'll blame it on you and just say it's your fault. Estu culpa, because I love you. But yeah, they look like jelly beans. Like, hmm. Damn, I'm hungry. Uh, gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah. I gotta put these out. That's some pinks. Yeah, I'm gonna put these out after I wrap up this video just because I wanna see. I guess they're supposed to be like solar LED. They're, they're supposed to be like glass. And I don't think they're glass. They're more like um, acrylic. But really pretty colors. And like I said, uh, to me, they look like jelly beans. So when I saw them, I was like, oh, I could put those in some of the baskets. Again, probably tomorrow I will do a tour of the house. Or when he goes to work tomorrow night. I still got to tell you about that hair appointment. Um, next product was $0.88. Cents. It's for purses, hats, scarves, whatever. Um, it's just another like kind of hanging organizer for your closet and uh ooh, let me put that in there where is it hold up now i gotta put it together because i don't want to lose the bolts oh girl you better stop let me get my glasses on why is this gonna go in here there is no bottom anchor. Is it supposed to be bolted? Shannon, keep talking to yourself. Nobody. Oh, oh. So, okay, this is what I'm struggling with. It's got like a hole here to screw this in, but then it has this bolt that I just dropped like three times. And I guess that's how it goes. So we're gonna do it, okay? Yeah, scarves, purses, hats, aprons, jewelry. You put necklaces, bracelets on there, whatever. It's crazy that I, like, did a really deep cleaning and organized all my closets last year, and they're already filled up again. Like, when I tell you I downsized, like, those giant hefty lawn bags, I think I donated, like, 12 of them to the local thrift stores, and already could probably fill up that much again. Or I just send them your way, even if it's not Timo. A lot of you said, give it to me, girl. I'll take it. I like thrift stores. One person's trash is another person's treasure, right? Next product was $1.48. And it is, big surprise, another pair of earrings. Cute. Just silver, but they got the simple. They're simple. But I like them. So it's got like a purple, a green, yellow, light blue, dark purple. I like my danglies and I like anything that kind of looks like a hoop. Because to me it just goes 
with almost everything. Next product again is a vintage three ring set. I got it in a size six and this was $1.49. Let me take it out. Would I say it was a size six? So yeah, of course I'm like a six, seven, I think. We'll see. Got so many rings that I bought that don't fit the, I'm gonna have to give away. Pretty. It's kind of got like that fake turquoise. I was just watching my girl Ashton, her haul, and she had some fake turquoise earrings and they look so cute. There's two. And there's three. Oh, that'll go on there. And I noticed that April from Menopausal Madness will wear her rings up on the top like that. I, I'm, I'm sure it's kind of like an acquired taste, something you got to get used to. Pretty. they got a nice little bling on them. Yeah, so I guess I'll tell you the story. So for the past eight years, I, I go to Ulta Beauty Salon. And um, for the first six years, I saw this fantastic hairdresser named Cal, Master Stylist. And yeah, it's a lot pricier than what I'm used to paying, but... She was phenomenal. She ended up having a baby, leaving and going to a very bougie salon that I really couldn't afford. So I remained at Ulta. And there was this other girl, I don't want to name drop because this might be a legal matter. And um, seeing what happens in the next few weeks, I'll probably come back and spill the beans and spill money because uh, I anticipate, depending on what the company does, Ulta, uh, going, uh, like I said, I already have an attorney. But literally going uh, to the Better Business Bureau, picketing, <laughs> I am going all out. Now, I am not your Karen. I really just kind of sweep shit under the rug. Excuse my French. There you go. But this girl pissed me off so bad. So the first four appointments I had set with her, again, as a flight attendant, my time is limited. I'm not home much. See, she canceled twice. Now, she just so happened to work with her best friend. And I said, look, I'm going to a wedding. I have to have my roots done. I cannot go, you know, to my son's wedding, whatever, looking like this, okay? This was before. So her, they said, oh, we could put you in with somebody else. So I get in. As soon as I sit in the chair, her friend's like, look, your normal stylist that you see now, and I'm going to say the letter C, she's really good at color. And she was. The first time she did my hair, it was on point. It looked great. I loved her. Then the cancellations kind of was like, really? Like, I called out of work or I rearranged my schedule for this and you're canceling at the last minute. Anyway, her friend kind of warned me and said, you know, I just got out of school. I'm better at cuts, like buzz cuts, which obviously I'm not getting. But, um, you know, I'm kind of nervous, whatever. Well, anyway, the girl with the C that normally does my hair will have me in and out of the salon within like three and a half, four hours which is pretty average for like all over highlights or whatever. When I tell you I sat in this chair for six and a half hours, she goes to rinse me out. Girls, if you know about color or highlights, you know what I'm talking. I had a whole bunch of grays around here. They didn't take. These dark roots, it's like if I come back tomorrow and I still have all this and say, yeah, um, I just paid $245 and look at my hair. You're going to say I didn't notice a difference. Well, I guess she didn't use the right lift or whatever. She didn't leave uh, the bleach in my hair long enough to color. And her excuse when I got out of the chair and she dried my hair and I'm like, first off, I'm like six and a half hours. Like, seriously? Like, with my back issues? Like, what happened? I wasn't nasty about it. I was like, what happened? Why didn't it take? She goes, I don't know. She goes, I, don't... I think I was more afraid. So she would put the color, I mean, the bleach in my hair. And then she would come in with a towel and she would like strip it. And so she was taking it out. She didn't let it sit long enough. And she's like, oh, your hair is damaged. I don't want it to burn or break off. Well, yeah, okay. I don't want that either. But my mom also was a hairstylist beautician. So I'm like, okay. And I'm sorry. You know, um, my hair is healthy. I take care of my hair. It's short because I have to have it short to keep it healthy. Anywho, she's like, oh, they'll come back and fix it. So the girl with the C that normally does my hair two weeks later, I reach out in the call and I say, hey, you know, it didn't take. I Mind you, being a property manager, if you're renting an apartment, take pictures before and after because people are shady as we know. 
So I am always like my aunt's a lawyer, my brother's cop, take pictures is what they always say. So I have before and afters. So I, I, I call back anyway. We'll get back to the hall in a second. And uh, as I walk in for the girl to fix my hair, look, I'm getting heated just talking about it. The girl that had me in the chair for six and a half hours is talking to her best friend, C girl, who normally does my hair. And she didn't see me behind them. And I was just there waiting for them to notice I was there for my appointment. And I hear them talking smack, like hardcore smack. She's like, oh, well, she wants you to come back and fix her hair. You should charge her full price again because it's not my fault her hair is damaged. I mean, what does she expect? She's got a lot of gray hair. She's no young spring chicken, which I'm not. But she's like, what does she think? I got a magic wand. I can turn her into a princess. What is she? Like, she was just really, like, talking horribly about me. So I'm to the point where I'm from Philly. And I'm shaking. And when you see me shaking, oh, or if I start tearing up, you better run. So I take out my camera and I start filming their conversation. And lo and behold, they both go, and I'm still filming. I said, no, it's all right. You can cancel my appointment. I got everything I needed. And they're like, wait, 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 wait. Shannon, Shannon, wait. You misunderstood. You misunderstood. I said, no, I didn't misunderstand. I have it all right here on the camera. Thank you. Thank you for, you know, talking shit on me. Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. You know, obviously. So anyway, they pretty much chased me out of the store. And I'm fuming. And they talk me back into the chair. And I'm like pretty much like brushing off the tears like, you know, that was really unprofessional. I don't appreciate it. And she's like, I think you misunderstood. I said, OK, well, I didn't know the other girl had already gone back and told the manager who was another friend. M mind you, they're like 23 years old. Nothing against 23 year old, but I'm 52. I've got three grandchildren. My oldest grandson is 11. Don't really have a lot in common with the 23 year old. You know, those when I was 23, I did. But anyway. She does my hair in the chair and it's all right. Like she made it blonder. And, but the whole time she's doing my hair, she goes, Oh, I don't know what she was afraid of. Your hair is so healthy. Are you deep conditioning? Yes, I am. I came in last week and had the deep conditioning. Oh, are you using the red can? Yes, I am. She's like, Oh, it feels so good. Oh, she's just really not good at color. She gets like nervous. She's like, I'm going to take care of you. No problem. So it comes out a little bit darker, but it was good. It was good. And then I'm thinking, I'm going to walk out of there. And she goes, hold on, hold on, I got your receipt. And I'm thinking, okay, charge me another $245 to fix the mistake. After I sat there for six and a half hours and my hair didn't take, they charged me. Well, me being passive and already had, you know, my feelings hurt, I paid it <laughs> like a dumbass. As I'm walking out, the manager comes over, their third friend. We'll say her letter is N. Because, again, I'm going to name drop once I get clearance that I can talk about it publicly with my attorney, depending on what their corporate does. She comes over and she goes, I understand we had a problem. I said, yeah, a little bit, but, you know, C fixed it. And she said, um, I understand you were recording them. I said, yeah, I was. And she said, can you delete the recording? I'm like, um, why do I have to delete the recording? She goes, you shouldn't be recording. It's unprofessional. She says, no, what I actually have on the recording is unprofessional. Talking about your clients. I said, do you want to see it? And she goes, no, I, I just really, it, for them and for me, it would make us feel comfortable. So at the time, I was just like, yeah, whatever. I deleted it. Of course, I can pull it back up in the archives, right? So I was like, whatever. I just want to get out of there. Fast forward. You know, you get your my color done at least every six to eight weeks. I make my appointment for my birthday, okay? Just, just a couple days ago. Sorry. Fast forward this. I make my appointment and they, the store closes at like, say, 8 o'clock. They called me at 8.30. They sent me a text message. They didn't call me and said, we canceled your appointment. I'm trying to call the store back and, of course, they're not open. I'm like, that's weird. Why would they cancel it? Did she call out for the third time canceling my appointment? I'm only home for two days. It's my birthday. I want to look pretty for my birthday. Whatever. So then I get a voicemail the next morning and it says, we are no longer going to provide service for you. I'm thinking, what? Okay, maybe she doesn't want to provide service. So I thought maybe the girls were butthurt because I got them on camera and they were maybe afraid to lose their job. But she had already done my hair once since that incident and it was fine. So I go down to the store and they say, not only 
will she not do my hair? But nobody in the salon is allowed to touch me. And I said, why is it? And they said, because uh, you don't seem to get the results you want. Or you booked for a root touch up and you needed highlights. Like, I'm sorry, but you're the stylist. When I come in and I say, look, just blend the grays. I don't know if it's a root touch up. I don't know if it's an all over color. I don't know if it's highlights. That's your job to know, right? So then she kept coming up with these excuses and it felt like I was being fired. And I'm like, I've never been fired in my life. I've been coming to you guys for eight years. I'm a medallion platinum member, which is the highest level at all that you can get for their credit cards. I'm a really good tipper. Um, she's like, yeah, well, it's just not appropriate. I said, because I recorded. And then she's like, you can't record. And I said, yes, you can. She goes, no, you can't record. It's illegal. I'm like, um, first off, <laughs> my brother's cup. It depends on the state. But yes, in Utah, you can record. And uh, she says, yeah, you can. And I said, um, yeah, you can. She goes, well, um, we're not going to see you anymore. And I said, that's fine. She goes, you can. I said, does your manager know? Does your manager know that you've made this decision? She goes, yeah, she's aware of it. I said, huh, well, she goes, you can go to corporate. I said, oh, I'm going. She goes, you can take it to any level you want. I said, oh, honey, I'm taking it to corporate, social media. I'm taking it everywhere. And she said she was going to call security and have me taken out of the store. You're going to call security and have me taken out of the store? And I said, on what ground? She goes, because you're threatening me. I said, because I told you I'm taking it to corporate and I'm going to go public with my story. She's like, yeah. She goes, I'll have you barred from Alta. Anyway, the reason that pissed me off so much is there's only one in town, and with my credit card, um, I earn points, and I'm sorry, but when you're spending almost $300 every six weeks, uh, I like my points. I like my free gifts. So, that's my storied event, and that was probably half my video already. Holy shit. All right, next product. Sorry to be continued. Was 100 piece. It's a wire twist tie gardening craft set. Multicolored. So these are kind of cool. Again, multicolored, just wired. Um, I'm wired. So if I got a tomato plant and it needs a little more stability, I'll put a stake in and then I'll take the wire and wrap it around the stalk like so, so that it just uh, will help it grow straight, help it grow right. These are just like zip ties. I, I can imagine they'd be great for crafting Tying up your food bags, whatever. I mean, a hundred pieces, wire twist ties, gardening crafts, etc. There is no price on there, but I'm sure it was like a dollar something. Sorry. I got worked up. Like, ooh, my heart is racing already. Next product, uh, just a badge holder. It's a sloth. It was $2.69. I like sloths. I used to be terrified of them. It's kind of a rubbery material. Kind of cheap, actually. It's pretty cheap. Kind of like a bungee cord, kind of stretchy. Yeah. It's cute, don't get me wrong, but that's more for a kid. That's not going to be for my line of work. It's not fancy enough. It's got the clip here again that's, I mean, as a backup, I guess if mine snaps, I can have it in my bag at work. The sloth is cute. Rubbery. Oh, lordy. What time is it? Sorry, guys. I gotta take my meds. Where's my meds? All right. Getting down. Uh, next product. We're almost there. I know you guys are excited for this drawing. $6.28. Just a, a nozzle for the garden hose. Um, I think ours just wasn't tightening up. That doesn't look like it's going to fit in ours, though. Maybe. Ours was wider. That looks kind of small. Pew, pew, pew. So it's got the adjuster knob on the back. Tightener, so to speak. And that'll just go, obviously, you guys probably know, on the garden hose. So if I want to power wash the windows, I can do a cone, jet, center spray, a mister, a shower, a rinse, a flat, a soaker. So yeah, there's a couple different ways to spray, so to speak. 
So, like, when I power wash the windows, that'll be on the jet, like, shh, and the spider webs. Next product is a plant repotting mat. This was 78 cents. Now, I, I had this in my cart a couple times, and the price went down. I think it was, it, when I first looked at it, it was, like, three bucks. So, when I sell it, go to 78 cents, I'm like, yes, please. So, when I am planting, transplanting, I should say, because I already did it. I don't think I'm going to do any more this year. But it gets all over the uh, grass. Oh, I got the smaller one. And it looks just like a regular mat. But the corners, I believe you're supposed to snap up like this. And you are. And then what you do is when you're putting your soil in your pots or your potting mix, you just take these two buttons and snap them together on the corners. It's gonna catch the extra dirt and soil so that you don't have it all over the seedlings like I did. Yeah, I just kind of, but then it's kind of like a, just a, yeah, little platform. So you put your pot in here and then put your soil in it and then you don't waste the soil and you can pour it back in the bag. Easy peasy, next product. It says this is a favorite item. Let's wait, oh, I know what that is. We'll wait for that. Uh, next product, again, $1.26, guess what it is, y'all. Same thing I've been using this whole time. I just got it in pink and blue and it's just the blades to open up my packages. Oops, wrong way, there we go. Helps me open up my Timo. Uh, next product, $2.24. I am not going to rip the bag on this because this is, guess what? For another flight attendant friend. It's a makeup bag. And it says, a flight attendant is an individual who does precision guesswork based on unreliable data provided by those of questionable knowledge. See also, wizard or magician. And I love it. It's got the our wings. So that's what the wings are. The FA, we have to have those. It's actually uniform compliant. And then you've got your uh, scarves that we wear you've got your airplane window of course your luggage your plane your high heels and your makeup and your watch that is really cute actually two dollars 24 cents see i got another one and i like this one better so maybe i'll keep it now for i need about five of those for my makeup because this is a lot of makeup <laughs> uh. Someday, maybe I'll do a uh, get ready with me, but I'd probably lose all of my subscribers. Next product is $5.57. I think it's a shirt. Oh, no, I know what it is. So I'm not married. I'm not married, but uh, I needed some booty shorts. I'm engaged. But uh, no plans to set a wedding day just yet. When you get my age, it's like, eh, we've been together eight years. It's like, eh, do I really need to sign the papers and spend all that money on a wedding. And they look really cute. They're really comfortable, actually. Um, they are see-through, but um, for me, these are gonna be pajama jams. Like, I'll just wear this with a nightshirt and my simplicity of pajamas. That's it, we are almost done. Almost. Um, cabin Crew, $1.99, two pieces. I'm not gonna take them out. I've showed these before in a different haul. These are luggage tags. You got your planes, again, gifts for my pilots and first officers because not all of them want to wear girly airplane earrings. Cool beans. All right. We're almost there. Almost there. So when I was uh, marking the prices on these, again, I put this was my favorite product. What the deuce? Oh. Um... Where's the price? Oh. You gotta be kidding. I didn't put the price. How did I not see the price? Ah, I've seen them from $10 to $15. Sorry, guys. But for this, I gotta do it like this. Sectional. Can you see? Right here, just the one side, the arm. Yeah, I got the table right there, but rectangle, side table. 
these plant watching my Timu hauls. Where's my margarita? Yeah, I like it. So it fits perfectly in there. They did have like old, whoop, yeah, that snatch back. Now it has these, um, so it'll just give you like a little side table on your section. Um, it did have like these blocks, clamps, I don't know, in case, I don't know. This is fine though. Like I said, let's put it down right there. And if I'm eating like my chips and dip and watching, you know, some Netflix and chill, that's it. Works for me, but I will put the block in here. All right, all right. You guys ready? Holy shit, I lost you. Hi, 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 hi. All right. Last two products, and then we're going to get to the drawing. Where are we? 111. All right. Now for this, I did bring... Here we go. Get my rubber band. I got some wigs, y'all. I got some wigs. I'm going to do it. Just... A quick idea, right? So, I've put in the hair extensions, like the clip-ins and stuff, and I've worn those, but I've never worn a full-on wig out to work. But I do love these hats that have the hair attached inside of them. This one is a hat wig, $8.48. Cheap and amazing. It's synthetic, but it looks real. So, they got different colors, different lengths, different styles. I went with like the beach waves. It is so soft. Okay, now I like to curl my caps. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to tuck that. It'll look fake. Probably. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If you didn't know, would you know? Kind of hard to see the back. But I like it because it's easy, you know? I like it. You've, I, if you've seen some of my first hauls, you saw the one that was like a shorter blonde bob. That was pretty cute, actually. But that's one. I don't think I'm going to do the second one because it... Uh, yeah. Anyway, $8.48 for that. This one was $13.99. It's a khaki color. It's also synthetic, 26 inches. Came with a couple of wig caps. Now this one is kind of funny. Maybe Halloween. But. Girl, I don't know if I thought I was trying to be Beyonce. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Oh, it's got stuffing in there. Someday. And I'm all alone. It's got the tag. Mm-hmm. It's got, in the inside, like, the adjustables. Like I said, I've never, ever got the clips to hold on to your hair. It's got an adjustable strap. I've never, like, worn a real wig out. Let's see. This may be with a headband. I don't know. Dude. Dude. <laughs> God. Oh my gosh. Oh, single ladies. Oh, single ladies. Oh, single ladies. Yeah, no. I don't know. Like Joe Dirt looking. 
Yeah, no, that's that's not a good look for me. Like, what's up with this? Hmm. I don't think so. Mm -mm. No, actually, maybe I'll come back. Sorry, I couldn't I couldn't take any more. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll come back <laughs> with it on like properly with um, a headband. I don't know. Properly. I don't know. I don't know. Halloween. All right. All right. Are you guys ready? Look at this hair. Look at those eyebrows. Mm -hmm. A little dark today, girl. What kind of games? All right, let's do this drawing. So, what are we gonna do? We are gonna do a $50 winner and two $25 winners today. Woo! That's what we're doing. So, let me get my pen and pencil and I'm gonna get it set up, okay? I'm gonna put it on the back. So the last name I call is going to be the grand prize winner. So we're gonna do 25 equals 25 equals $50, that's $100. Let me get that dollar dollar bill, y'all. Cash app or Venmo, today is the 26th, we're gonna do 27, 28, 29, 30, Let's do April 7th. I like seven. April 7th at midnight. See, once it's written down in my notebook, that's it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, y'all. April 7th until midnight to claim your prize, Venmo or Cash App. If you do not claim your prize, by April 7th at midnight, I will be selecting another winner. And as soon as you claim your prize, I'll be posting it in like a short on um, this YouTube platform that you did so. Jay is not here. I want you guys to see. I am not looking. I, I don't know how to do it. Like, so you can see I'm not looking. Oh, I'll do this. How's that? Well, can you see? Okay, my eyes are closed, right? Mixed, mixed, my eyes are closed. So the first two winners are going to be $25 winners and the grand prize 50 will be the last one. So here goes, digging in the bottom, my first $25 winner. Drum roll please. It, you're not gonna believe this. Leslie Guerrero. Guess what? She won the last time. So guess what? We're doing it again. Sorry, Leslie, you already won. You leave me a lot of comments and that's why I was there, but I already know you won the last time. So here we go. I'm not looking. There we go. $25 winner is Kathy Kennedy 2503. Kathy Kennedy, 2503, you are a $25 winner. Let me write your name here. Hold on, congratulations. Kathy, oops, K-E-N-N-E-D-Y, 2503. Again, I am on Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, at least do Messenger. Shannon Dilling, D-I-L-L-I-N-G. Shannon Dilling, Facebook Messenger, let me know. You won the drawing. Say, hey, it's your girl, Kathy Kennedy. I won on your last drawing. We will go from there, exchange information where you can give me your cash app or your Venmo or figure out a way for you to claim your prize. So that is our first $25 winner. Going forward, we are going to grab our second one. Oh, can you see? Hold on, I want you to see my eyes are shut. And I am mixing it. Second winner. Second winner. Nicole M. 4064. $25 winner. 
M I C O L E, I believe is how she spelled her name. M four O six four. Congratulations, Nicole M four O six four. So you and Kathy are my two twenty-five dollar winners, hence fifty bucks. Here we go, one more. You guys ready? Shut in my eyes. Can you see? My eyes are shut. Hold on, I'm gonna give it a good mix. Oops, dropped one. Here we go. Eyes are shut. Can you see? $50 winner is S H N E E Bop. S H Schnee Bop 4395. Congratulations. Again, you have seven till April 7th. So we have S H N E E Bop 4395 is my $50 winner. Oh, I get it. Like Cindy Lopper, She Bop, He Bop, Schnee Bop. All right. Congratulations, Kathy Kennedy, Kennedy 2503, Nicole M 4064, and Schneebop 4395 to my winners. And when I hit that 3,000 subscriber mark, we'll do another drawing. Um, with that being said, thank you guys for your time. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me vent with this biatch that I had an issue with at the salon. I am telling you... <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to turn the other cheek. I'm trying to pray about it, but you know what? They did me dirty. Did me dirty. Charged me twice. So two forty-five for the first time. You didn't take my hair. Second time you, you charged me. Two weeks later, so one hair appointment cost me almost five hundred dollars. Right, and then you drop me, and tell me that I don't know how to book appointments. That. I said I needed a root touch up, but I needed highlights and you booked your chair out too long and lost clients or whatever. And then threatened to call security because I was recording because you did such a shitty job on my hair. Yeah. Yeah. Very insulting. Like even, oh, it's been almost a week and I just, mm, gosh, they would have cashed me outside for real. If it was 25 years ago, we would have had, ooh, I'd be in jail. Let me tell you, I'd be in jail. With that being said, again, thank you for being here at Shenanigans 321. I'm really not that aggressive, y'all. I'm not. I'm not. I just, I don't like people playing with my money or my time. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I know it wasn't really too much. I know I rambled a lot, but you know what? I did it. I got it out there. I got the drawing done. Make sure you respond to me by April 7th. Facebook Messenger, best way to contact me. Because you know I'm not putting my phone number out here, right? Obviously. Facebook Messenger, send me a message. Even if you don't have Facebook, sign up it. Sign up to claim your prize. Because if I don't hear from you, I'm moving on. Moving on to the next person. Come get you. Come get you some. Come get your money, honey. Yeah. Shannon Dilling, D-I-L-L-I-N-G. I look forward to hearing from you. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully, if I have time this week when this loads, I'll give you a tour of the house and the garden and the Easter decor. Now, ah, hurts when I swell. I'm going to finish my margarita. I'm going to clean up my mess over here. And I'm going to bed. Love you. Be kind to each other. Bye.